The Philippines has 24 active volcanoes on land. Mayon, Taal, Pinatubo, Canlaon. Most Filipinos know about these. But beneath the ocean surrounding the Philippines, there are over 400 submarine volcanoes. Underwater volcanoes that most people have never heard of. Some are active right now, erupting on the seafloor in complete darkness. Others are dormant, waiting. A few are among the largest volcanoes on Earth, but you can't see them because they're hidden kilometers below the surface. And when they erupt, they can trigger tsunamis, earthquakes, and underwater landslides that threaten millions of people living along the coast. So why does the Philippines have so many underwater volcanoes? What are they doing down there? And do they pose a threat to the Philippines? This is the hidden volcanic world beneath the Philippine seas, and it's far more active than most people realize. A submarine volcano, also called an underwater volcano or seamount if it's extinct, is exactly what it sounds like, a volcano that formed and exists beneath the ocean. Most submarine volcanoes form along tectonic plate boundaries, particularly at subduction zones and mid-ocean ridges. And the Philippines sits directly on one of the most volcanically active zones on the planet, the Pacific Ring of Fire. But while land volcanoes get all the attention, Mayan's perfect cone, Tayal's lake within a lake, Pinatubo's 1991 eruption, the real volcanic action is happening underwater. Here's the scale. Scientists estimate there are over one million submarine volcanoes worldwide. The Philippine region alone has at least 400 identified underwater volcanoes, with more being discovered regularly as seafloor mapping technology improves. Some of these are small seamounts, extinct volcanoes that stopped erupting millions of years ago and now sit as underwater mountains. But many are active, and some are massive. The largest underwater volcano in the Philippine region is Apalaki Caldera, located in the Benham Rise off the coast of Aurora and Isabella provinces. It's 150 kilometers wide, one of the largest calderas on Earth. For comparison, that's larger than Metro Manila, and it's sitting right off the coast of Luzon. But why are there so many underwater volcanoes specifically around the Philippines? The answer lies in tectonic plates, and the Philippines sits at the intersection of four major tectonic plates, the Eurasian Plate, the Philippine Sea Plate, the Sunda Plate, and the Pacific Plate. When these plates collide, one plate often gets pushed beneath another in a process called subduction. This creates subduction zones, deep underwater trenches, where one tectonic plate dives beneath another. Around the Philippines, there are multiple subduction zones. The Manila Trench on the west, where the Sunda Plate subducts beneath the Philippine Sea Plate. The Philippine Trench on the east, where the Philippine Sea Plate subducts beneath the Eurasian Plate, the Cotabato Trench and Sulu Trench in the south, the East Luzon Trench and Negros Trench throughout the archipelago. These subduction zones are volcanic factories. Here's how it works. As one tectonic plate gets pushed down into the Earth's mantle, 100 kilometers or more beneath the sea floor, the intense heat and pressure cause the rock to melt. This creates magma. That magma is less dense than the surrounding rock, so it rises. And when it rises through cracks in the sea floor, it erupts, forming underwater volcanoes. Over millions of years, these volcanoes grow. Some eventually break the ocean surface and become volcanic islands. The entire Philippine archipelago is essentially the result of millions of years of underwater volcanic activity. Islands like Luzon, Mindanao, the Visayas, all of them were built by volcanic eruptions that started underwater and eventually rose above sea level. But many underwater volcanoes never reach the surface. They remain hidden beneath the ocean, erupting in darkness, building massive volcanic structures that sit kilometers below the waves. And because the Philippines is surrounded by subduction zones on nearly all sides, it has one of the highest concentrations of underwater volcanoes in the world. So what happens when an underwater volcano erupts? Unlike land volcanoes, where eruptions are visible and can be monitored, submarine volcanic eruptions often go unnoticed. They happen in total darkness, kilometers below the ocean surface. 
No one sees them. No one hears them. But they're not harmless. When a submarine volcano erupts, it releases massive amounts of energy, gas, and lava onto the seafloor. If the eruption is shallow enough, say 200 meters or less below the surface, it can breach the ocean and create dramatic explosions, steam plumes, and floating pumice rafts that drift for hundreds of kilometers. In 1952, an underwater volcano called Didikas erupted off the coast of Cagayan. The eruption was so violent that it created a new island overnight. The island later eroded away, but the volcano remains active beneath the surface. In 2022, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano in Tonga erupted underwater with such force that it triggered a tsunami that reached as far as Japan, the United States, and even the Philippines. The eruption was one of the most powerful in recorded history, and it happened almost entirely underwater. This is the danger. Underwater volcanic eruptions can displace massive volumes of water in seconds, creating tsunamis. And the Philippines, surrounded by hundreds of active and dormant submarine volcanoes, is at risk. The biggest underwater volcanic threat to the Philippines isn't from a single dramatic eruption. It's from volcanic landslides and caldera collapses. Here's the scenario. An underwater volcano builds up over thousands of years, creating a massive volcanic cone on the seafloor. But volcanic rock is unstable. It's full of cracks, gas pockets, and weak points. If the volcano becomes too steep, too heavy, or too unstable, part of the volcanic structure can collapse suddenly. This is called a submarine landslide or flank collapse. When that happens, billions of tons of rock and sediment slide down the seafloor at high speed, displacing enormous amounts of water. The result is a massive tsunami, potentially larger than any tsunami caused by an earthquake. This has happened before. In 1888, the Ritter Island volcano in Papua New Guinea collapsed, triggering a tsunami up to 15 meters high that killed thousands of people in surrounding islands. The Philippines has several large underwater volcanoes that could experience similar collapses, particularly in the Benham Rise, the Philippine Trench, and the Sulu Sea. Fivol CS monitors some of these underwater volcanoes, but seafloor monitoring is expensive and technically challenging. Many submarine volcanoes around the Philippines remain poorly studied. Not all submarine volcanoes are threats. In fact, many create important marine habitats. Underwater volcanoes are hotspots of biodiversity. Volcanic vents release minerals and nutrients into the water, supporting unique ecosystems. Deep sea creatures, tube worms, crabs, fish, and microbes thrive around hydrothermal vents created by submarine volcanic activity. The Benham Rise, home to the massive Apalaki caldera, is also one of the Philippines' richest fishing grounds. The volcanic activity beneath the seafloor creates nutrient-rich waters that support large populations of tuna, marlin, and other commercially important fish. So while underwater volcanoes pose risks, they also contribute to the Philippines' marine biodiversity and economy. Scientists are still discovering new underwater volcanoes around the Philippines. In recent years, seafloor mapping missions using sonar and remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, have identified previously unknown submarine volcanoes in the Philippine Sea, the Sulu Sea, and the Celebes Sea. The Benham Rise alone is estimated to contain over 50 underwater volcanoes and volcanic features. Many have never been studied in detail. As technology improves, we'll continue to discover more, and we'll learn more about how these underwater volcanoes work when they last erupted and whether they pose immediate threats. But here's the challenge. Monitoring underwater volcanoes is far more difficult than monitoring land volcanoes. On land, scientists can install seismometers, gas sensors, and cameras to detect signs of volcanic unrest. Underwater, these tools are harder to deploy and maintain. Seafloor sensors are expensive, and the deep ocean is a harsh, corrosive environment. As a result, most submarine volcanoes around the Philippines are not actively monitored. We know they exist. We know some are active. 
but we don't always know when they might erupt. So why does the Philippines have so many underwater volcanoes? Because it sits at the collision zone of multiple tectonic plates. Because subduction zones surround the archipelago on nearly all sides. Because millions of years of volcanic activity built the islands themselves. And that volcanic activity is still happening today, mostly underwater, mostly unseen. The Philippines has at least 400 identified submarine volcanoes. Some are small, extinct seamounts. Others are massive, active volcanic systems capable of triggering tsunamis, landslides, and underwater eruptions. Most Filipinos will never see these volcanoes. They're hidden beneath kilometers of water, erupting in darkness, building and collapsing in a world we barely understand. But they're there, beneath the Benham Rise, beneath the Philippine Trench, beneath the Sulu Sea. The hidden volcanic world beneath the Philippines, active, powerful, and largely unknown. If you want to understand more about the geological forces shaping the Philippines, the trenches, the volcanoes, the earthquakes, subscribe and follow this channel. Because beneath the depths, there's an entire world most people never see, and it's far more active than you think.